Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today you are going to do a video lesson on two um, lessons from your textbook. One would be 72% proportion and the other would be 74% equation. Those are backwards. So you are going to learn both methods to find percent of a number, part of a number, or the whole. Um, and you really can latch on to whichever one you'd like. I'm not going to require you to do one or the other. Um, pick which one works best with your understanding. So first we're going to learn about the percent proportion. We've learned about proportions before and we learned about percents before. So we're going to combine those two things. So a percent proportion compares a part of a quantity to a whole. So again, percent, we're comparing a part to a whole um, for one ratio and list the percent as the number over 100. We've talked about if I get a 70%, a 70 out of 100 on a test, that's the same as if I got 7 out of 10 on a test or 14 out of 20 on a test. So your percent is equal to a part out of a whole. So this is what you want to write down right here, um, is that in this case, when you hear the word is, that's going to represent your part. And when you hear the word of, that's going to represent your whole. And they always put your percent over 100. So um, what you'll do is just read and write in to fill in our um, proportion. So I set up my proportion like this because it's always going to be like this. Sometimes you could write the percent on the right. Sometimes people might write the percent on the left. Really um, don't let that mix you up because the equal signs in between, so as long as they stay equal. So what percent, so that tells me that I'm looking for, what tells me that I'm looking for a variable, that that's what I don't know. So it says what percent, so that means I don't know the percent, so the variable goes there. Of $24, that means the of, my whole number is 24, is 18, is meaning my part is 18. So what I do then, just like you've done with cross products in the past, is you do your cross multiplication. So we have 1,800 is equal to 24 times x. Now you have a regular one-step equation. Please excuse that announcement. One-step equation that you solve by undoing multiplication with division. And we find out that 75 is equal to x. So what that means is that 18 dollars is 75 percent of 24 dollars. Trying over here. What number is, so that means we're looking for our part, notice I flipped it around over here, 60 percent, so that 60 goes above our 100 because percent means per 100, and then it says of 150, so of is our whole number. So we're looking for 60% of 150. So we do our cross products. We do 60 times 150 for 9,000 is equal to 100 times what number? Undo multiplication with division. And what we get is 90 is equal to x. So that means 90 is 60% of 150. Reasonable answer because it's a little bit more than 50% or half of 150. So just a couple things to remember about percent proportion. Um, it's a whole, a part out of a whole is equal to a percent. Just like on a test, you get a part portion of the whole test correct, and that is part of it. So percent proportion. The part usually comes before and after the word is, and the whole usually comes before and after the word of. So that's just helping you. This might be a great key concept thing to write down in your notes. Um, it helps you know what you're looking for. When you're finding the percent, it's going to say what. Anytime it says what, that means what you're looking for. That is where your variable is going to be. So finding the part, it'll say what number is, and that'll be you're looking for your part. Finding the whole of what number, that'll be the, you're looking for your whole number. Great chart to write down to have as a reference. Here's some to try, and then we're going to move on to percent equation. So I'm going to kind of whip through, pause. Maybe you want to watch the first three, and then try the rest. Um, make sure you try some of these. What percent? So that tells me I'm looking for my percent out of 100 of 65, that's my whole number, 
is 13. So I'm just going to set these up um, and then do some with cross products. So then I do 1300 is equal to 65x. I divide by 65. So I have 1300 divided by 65. x should equal 20. For this one, 4 is, so that's my part. What percent? What tells me that I don't know that? Of my whole, 50. Cross products, 400 is 50 times what number? So I divide by 50, and 400 divided by 50 gives me that 4 is 8 percent. When I'm looking for a percent, make sure I label that with a percent, which I didn't over there. What number is, that means I'm looking for my part, 35% out of 100 of 22. Cross products, move up here. I get 100 times what equals my 22 times 35. Divide by 100. So I get that the part is 77. So that means that 77 is 35. That doesn't make any sense. I messed up. See? Checking reasonableness of my answer. I forgot to divide by 10 again. That should be 7.7. 7.7 7. 7 is 35% of 22. That makes much more sense. It's less than 50%. I'm going to set these ones up, and you can give them a try. Remember, you only label percents when it is a percent you're looking for. 14%, so that's out of 100. Of 81, that means my whole, is what number? I'm going to set them up, and then you can come back and solve. As long as you're doing cross products, you should do it correctly. 13 is, that's your part. 26%, that's your part out of your 100%. Of what number means we're looking for that part. 55 is, that means that's my part. 40% out of 100. Of what number? What percent means we're looking for our percent of 100. Of 45 is 72. I'm going to do this one because you're going to notice that we have, our part is more than our whole, so we could assume that our percent should be more than 100. So I multiply across, and I divide 7200 divided by 45. And I get that x is equal to 160, but I'm looking for a percent. So 160% of 45 is 72. So that's 45 and then another 60% of 45. 1% of 100 of what number is 7? So that's not going to be v very much. 33 is, so that's my part. My percent is 50 of what number is what I'm looking for. So setting it up is half the battle. Doing your cross products is old news, so make sure you're still working on that solving proportion step. Okay, last little bit here now. Our second option is percent equation. I tend to prefer this one because um, it's very basic for me. Here's how it works. Um, the percent proportion, as you know, we know a part out of a whole is equal to a percent. We know that if we multiply each side by a whole number, that's going to cancel. So we're left with our part is a certain percent of our whole number. So that's called our percent equation. In this lesson, we need to know that is is going to mean equals. What means that you're going to have a variable. I sometimes pick n instead. And then of is multiplication. Very important to have those written down. So what I do then is I just rewrite things with that language. So I keep 600, is means equals, what percent, I mean I need a variable there, of 750. So your goal is to find your variable, so you have a one-step equation you're solving for. So I divide by 750, so if I get 600 divided by 750, I get 0 0.8 equals x. Well, 
trade a percent, I need to change the decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100, which is really moving the decimal two places to the right. So the answer is 80 percent. 60 is 80 percent of 750. Reasonable. Try another one. 45 is, since we're doing an operation, we really change 90% to a decimal, so that's moving the decimal two places to the left, because 90 out of 100, is divide by 100, of what number? Solve for the variable, so I divide. When you divide by a decimal, think 45 is only 90% of something, so my answer should be more than 45. So I get 50 equals x. Okay. I'm not looking for a percent, so my answer is not written as percent. Some for you to try, and then we're almost done. So setting them up is important. What percent? So variable of 56 is 14. So to solve, I divide by 56. So then I get x is equal to 0 0.25, but I'm looking for a percent, so I need to multiply by 100, which is move the decimal two places, so that means 25%. That is reasonable, because if I estimated, I could round this to 60 and this to 15, and I know that 15 out of 60 is 1 fourth, or 25%. I'm going to set some of these up, and you can work on solving. 36 is what percent of 40? So again, remember when you're looking for percent, you're going to have to multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. 80 is 40%, remember written as a decimal, of what number? 65% written as a decimal of what number is 78? Notice I get in a rhythm here. As long as I know what the words translate to in symbol, I'm going to be set. What percent of 2,000 is 8? Remember, you can be pausing and trying to set these up yourself and then coming back to check. What is, so what number is, those are two separate things, that's a little tricky. 110% as a decimal is 1.1. Right, because we do 110 over 100, which is move the decimal two places, of 80. That one, we don't really have to do um, any solving other than operating, so that's kind of nice. 1.1 and we get equals 88. 85 is what percent of 170? Make sure that you do the percent part. Find, that's the same as what is. So I do what is 30% of 70. Okay, so remember find is the same as what is. So again, important concept for you to have down um, different types of problems. So finding the part, finding the percent, finding the whole, maybe writing some examples down of what that looks like. And I would definitely have down what is translate to, what of translate to, what what translate to, and then I write my percent as a decimal. Okay, so we have some information here. We have 25% of people, gave, 18 to 24, gave up their home phone and only used a cell phone. If this many people only use a cell phone, how many people were surveyed? So it looks like we're given our part. We're given the number of people that voted that way. We're wondering how many people were surveyed. So our whole number, so we're looking for our whole of people. We know that 25% of them, which this is 25% of how many people picked that. So that's the percent proportion version. Or we can say 3,264 3, is 25% of what number of people surveyed. Those are the two options. So again, you can do your cross products either. You can do that. And find out that 
13,056 people were surveyed, or do it this way. Notice how that's the same thing, it's just dividing now or later. And I get the same number, so they both work. So that's how many total people were surveyed. Notice here, you're multiplying by 100, and then you divide. 25, this 25 has already been divided by 100. So that might have been a lot of information. Pick which one works best for you, percent proportion or percent equation. You have experience with both. Remember that you're always thinking about parts of wholes with these numbers. You're going to do great, be awesome, and be kind to others.